the necklace and before I start showing you how to make it let me um, go over the project with you and it started at this one inch ring on the side there's a one inch ring here and a one inch ring over here and then all the rings in between are the three quarter inch rings and then they're just these plastic rings and here's what the let me see here's the one inch and here's the three quarter inch so you're going to need those rings and you start by wrapping the one inch ring halfway and then you let the strand go for two and a half inches and then you wrap half of a small ring and you do that five times and the pattern starts at this bottom longest ring right here and then you completely wrap this ring and then you come back and wrap the other half of each one of these rings and then you come over here and you start back out onto the next strand and you do the same thing except you only have four small rings here and then you come back on these and then you go back out and you only have three at the uh, top one it's pretty um, ingenious how this works and then at the end when you have that all done you put a little bit of fabric glue on these to make sure that all these loops hold and then you put a little jump ring, your chain, and a clasp, and you're good to go. So the color that I'll be using is Carnival, and I've got a double strand of Enchant, and I measured out about five yards, and because I'm starting down here, I really don't know how long I need it to be. If I run out, I would attach a new strand up here at some point. So, um... I, you definitely it would help to have a, a yarn needle and you have a double strand of enchant that you work with and I'm holding this in place here I tied my knot right here really super tight as tight as I possibly could to attach my um, double strand of enchant to the ring and I'm letting this um, go right now but when I come back and do the final wrap on this ring I'm going to just wrap right over this end. Um, the other thing I could have done is left a longer end and then sewed it in at the end. So I'm just going to wrap it at the end like this. So in the directions it says to um, join the yarn and then wrap it halfway and then knot it. So I'm at that point where I need to knot this. So to knot it I am going to come around here and like hold this up here and come back through here and then up through this loop here and that should create a knot here okay and that is knotted Okay, and again, I want to do it super tight because I'm worried about these loops kind of rolling. So I don't want that to happen. So I've got that pretty tight. I could do a second one if I wanted to, but I think it'll be all right. Okay, so now two and a half inches, you might want to have a ruler handy. And right, I'm going to pick up my next one, my next loop, my next ring. And I'm going to bring all this through there. It flows through really easy. Alright, so I want it to be about two and a half inches from the first loop. So that's going to be, I've got the necklace here to measure by. So it's going to be about this long. And you want to tie a knot when you first get it onto there. So I brought it through the loop and I'm just going to come back through here to tie the knot. You can do this by hand, but I found that the need using the needle is easier. Okay, so just make sure that the knot is the two and a half inches from the other ring. See, and I want to move, I'm going to just move this up until it's about the two and a half inches right there. And then I'm going to tighten my knot like that. Okay, got my two and a half inches right there. And I got, 
I'm started onto my small ring now. So I need to wrap half of this. And one thing I found is that when I'm wrapping, I can actually do this two times to save me some time. And then it all comes through and I've actually wrapped twice there. So just like that. And I want to hold those tight. After I get that wrapped on there, I'm going to pull it tight and I'm going to hold it. So I'm going to do that again. I'm coming through twice. Okay, I'm going to hold that. Got a pair of scissors over here that want to come through. All right. And some rings. Okay, so you wrap half of this. Get these rings out of the way. There. Okay, so twice. And underneath my hand, I've, I'm holding on to these loops I've already wrapped on the ring. It looks like a mess when it's coming through, but it doesn't really tangle. I'm almost through. Okay, so I want to do it halfway and that's about halfway. The next one that I do will be halfway. So the la next one that I do, I want it to be a knot though. So when I bring it through, I'm going to bring this strand over like this. And then when I bring it through, it's going to make a knot. Okay, see how that made a knot there? Okay, so I'm done with that one and I'll wrap the rest of it when I come back. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get my next ring. I'm going to go into it. I'm going to knot it. So to create a knot, I need to Come in like this and wrap this over. And then bring that through again like that. Okay, and before I tighten my knot, I really did not. Okay, so I need to come around here and go like this. Somehow I got to go through the loop twice to make a knot around the ring. Okay, there. So I have a knot around the ring. Okay, so I need to measure again the two and a half inches and I'm going to tighten up my knot until it is the two and a half inches. So I'm going to measure like this, and I want my knot to be there. Okay, so now I'm going to tighten this as tight as I can tighten it. And then the same thing, I'm just going to wrap again, bringing this through twice. Okay. So I just keep going like this. This is this piece here. And then this is the second small ring here. 
and I'm going to repeat until I have five strands. And then I'm going to join onto here and go completely around this one. And then I'll come back and show you how to come back on the rings back to the, the other um, to finish off this side. So an easier way to knot the um, smaller ring on, it would be to just put the ring onto your needle and bring it down close to where you're going to attach it. And then just uh, around the two and a half inches, just take the working strand that you've already worked and just bring that through and just knot that like this. Just make sure you get all those rings through and then you're knotted on there like that. And then move this to the two and a half inches. See about like that. If you have a ruler you can measure this. Need to bring it in just a little bit more like that. And then tighten your knot. And then continue on with your um, putting your strands on your loops. I finished wrapping the smaller rings halfway and I went over to the, after I got five small rings on, I attached the um, larger one inch ring and I wrapped all the way around that ring and I'm on my last loop here and I brought my strand through and before I pull that tight I want to just um, bring the, my needle through that last loop like this so I have a knot at the very end. So, my yarn got a little bit out of control here. Okay, so I brought that through so it'll not. Then I want to pull that really tight, both strands. Right. Doesn't want to cooperate there. There. I just had to pull one of the two strands, which was that aqua color, to get it to um, come through all the way. So now I'm just going to match up the length here and come back onto my ring here and start wrapping the other side. And you want to make sure there's enough loops around every ring so that they're really packed in there. So you probably, um, it's probably a good idea too to knot that, your first ring there. Uh, let me go back here. And I'll just pull this back one loop. Okay, so when I go on to the next ring like this, I'm gonna, I just brought this through once and I'm gonna bring, wrap this around that strand right there so I have a knot around the ring. So I'm going to have to do that with each one as I come back. And then it's kind of loose to start. So I'm just going to tighten it so that it matches the same length as the other strands on the opposite side, these strands here. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that they're even. There. So once you're sure that they're even, which this is right here, you can tighten that knot and then start wrapping it. So 
So you just do the same thing all the way back like that. And if your yarn gets twisted, just hold this whole thing up in the air and let the um, yarn unravel. You may have to take the needle off and just get your all your strands straightened out and um, you should be good for a while after you straighten them all out. So you just wrap each loop and you knot, knot, I'll knot this when I finish and then let out another inch and a half, it actually is not two and a half inches. So another inch and a half and then wrap this side. Then when I get back here I'm going to finish wrapping this side and I'm going to wrap this end while I'm wrapping the rest of this ring here and then I'm going to finish that off and then you just tie in another strand here and you work the other rings exactly the way I showed you here and then you put a jump ring around this band I have a jump ring right here somewhere well the jump ring that you got one here but I don't have one big enough to go around this whole thing so you want a, a jump ring that's big enough to go around that ring this one kinda is I guess let me see the one thing I know about jump rings is that you don't want to open them up like this you want to open them up like this like two pairs of pliers and one side comes towards you and one side goes away from you and you're going to have to open this up quite a bit like that to get it around this ring and then just put the ring in there and then close it up the same way that you opened it like one it'll just be opposite direction to close it up like that and then there is a bigger ring right here and then the chain you don't necessarily have to have that bigger ring and then you put a little chain on there and then the opposite end has the clasp on it so that's how you make the ribbon the ring ribbon necklace and i hope that you enjoyed this video and the links to everything that you saw me use will be listed below. And thank you very much for watching.